On tonight's episode of SmackDown, the WWE finally got rid of that last ugly championship belt. The blue tag titles are gone, and they reintroduced the WWE Tag Team Championships, and this is how they look. And I gotta say, I absolutely love these belts so much. They remind me of the older tag titles from the Attitude Era, as well as the Ruthless Aggression Era with a modern twist. I think these even look a lot better than the ones we saw on Raw that The Miz and R-Truth were given. I actually do like that design that The Miz and R-Truth got, but the only problem with it is that it's too roundish. It reminds me of the 24-7 title, and reminding me of that belt is not a good thing. As for these WWE Tag Team titles, they are perfect. I honestly cannot complain at all about them. The WWE did a really great job. That means that this company has officially rebranded every championship. You got the World's Heavyweight Champion, and the women's version of that one. Then there's the new undisputed WWE Championship, the same with the men and the women's. And I started to like the design, but I still don't understand the point of naming it the undisputed title when there's clearly another world champion. But that's a story for another day. That's the only part I don't like about that that doesn't make sense. The new US title was introduced back in 2020 during the pandemic era. I think that's actually my favorite title right now when it comes to the design it's the best looking one it looks like the most prestigious championship at least in my eyes and then there's the new IC title which was introduced back in 2019 I'm not a huge fan of this one I actually like the old design with the white strap that was always my favorite and what I think is the best version of the IC title it did not make too much sense when they brought in the new one because I just don't like it but I guess some people do like it I and some don't I guess I'm one of those people that don't like the belt and I prefer the old one if WWE could bring back the classic IC title with the white strap then I'd say all the championships look great but until then I can't say that because I really don't like the IC title anyways with all that being said this was actually the best idea especially because of Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch and their situation back in 2020 or 2021 whenever that was for those that don't remember these two were forced to switch belts because they were switching brands and one of them had the raw championship the other one had the smackdown one and they had to switch over and it just didn't make sense for one of them to take the raw championship to the smackdown brand so they literally just swapped belts and not only was it a whack idea but they also were beefing at the time in real life so that only made the segment even worse the way it's designed, any champion can essentially be drafted on any brand and it will not matter. This is how it was supposed to always be. But then Vince McMahon ruined it when he brought in those Raw and SmackDown tag and women championship belts. Like, I don't know what he was thinking. Do you know how lazy you've got to be to do that? To also make it red and blue was even worse. It made these things look like toys while these championships that Triple H brought in they look like real titles that you actually want to wrestle and compete for. There is a major difference and anybody can tell and notice it. It's a shame that it took so long to get to this point. Part of me wishes that Triple H just hit a complete reset when he took over. However, with a lot of time and a lot of patience, we got here anyways, so we can't complain. Grayson Waller and Austin Theory is honestly the perfect tag team to hold these new belts. They are the heels you don't want to cheer for at all. They're the people that can draw the most heat and it, they work really well together as a team. The Street Profits also winning the first match was a good idea. Street Profits versus Theory and Waller is a really strong match in the middle of a PLE card. There's even a chance that Logan Paul joins the party and starts maybe a feud with Bobby Lashley for the US title. I think Logan and Bobby is a dream match I want to see. It would be one of Logan's hardest matches in his career since Lashley is a beast. But that's what makes it a lot of fun. Going back to Grayson Waller and also in theory i think they should be champions for a long time they should not lose anytime soon the two should be holding those belts for another four or five months they could even hold them for a little bit longer if wwe had some good storylines in mind for them the tag team run should also end with grayson waller turning in austin theory we need that baby face run from theory there's no better way of doing it than by having his former friend and tag team partner turning on him that can be a really fun feud it could be a fun match and it could be a fun baby face run and Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all in the next video.